Aquarius, is out here to do your April 2018 general reading. Uh, happy Easter, happy April, happy spring. Yeah. I do shuffle and pray over the cards off camera. Um, and then I give the cards a quick shuffle on camera and we get started. I'll save the announcements to the end. We'll start with love. Uh, wow, we got a lot of jumping cards. I normally don't read reversals, but this deck has reversals, so we'll see. We'll see how this works. Okay. All right, here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages. We love messages for Aquarius. True, accurate messages from you, Lord God. Thank you. All right, the Six of Swords at the heart of the reading. Someone moving away from just drama, confusion, turbulent times. Just trying to find peace of mind. This lady is li is like lying on a swan, a dove, a big bird, a big white bird. She's at peace. She's resting. And she's away from the swords with the, the crows and the thorns, kind of looks like. That's beautiful. I like that. So Aquarius is just trying to get away from the drama, the arguing, the fussing, the fighting, the backstabbing, just the, there's no peace where you are and you're trying to get away from it. And some of you are, uh, this could be a physical move, this could be a mental or emotional, mental, that's a mental card. What crosses that is the Knight of Swords in reverse. So someone been very harsh with you. This could be another air sign. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they're coming in. Upright, it would be that they're a little immature, but well-meaning at the same time. Um, in the reverse, it's just they're tactless. They're, they're on the defense. Um, they'll say anything and without regard for, you know, how it comes off. We'll, we'll pull a card on that to see why this person or this message from this person is coming in so harshly. Or, or, or vice versa, this is you. You giving a, you, you are telling someone, you know, giving somebody the boot or letting them know that you're leaving. All right, what's the energy, the present energy, the present energy for Aquarius? Present energy for Aquarius. All right. The Eight of Swords in reverse. Nice. So, so no longer are you feeling mentally trapped. You're moving away with the Six of Swords. You completely jumped over the Seven of Swords, hopefully. Um, eight of Swords in reverse. Great card to have in reverse. Um, you've made the plan at the Seven of Swords to do whatever to enact or whatever to, to put in place a plan of action for you mentally and, and and you're not going backwards on it or you're not thinking of of all the different ways this couldn't work out or you know you're not thinking of the negative here you you're only thinking of moving forward pushing forward with the eight of swords in reverse and that's your energy gemini libra aquarius nice so coming out of stagnation coming out of mental confusion all right, and at the basis, the basis is the sun in reverse. So there's some delay here. You could be dealing with the Leo also. The sun in reverse is because there's delay. I feel like there's delay because you have to get some things in order. You got to get some things um, cleared away, um, straightened out. So the sun is not upright. Uh Meaning that things aren't moving in the most positive way right now because you need to get in line so that the universe can then back you and back you in the most positive way with the sun here. Okay, in the past was the nine of swords. Oh my gosh, so many swords, guys. Uh, low energy, maybe uh, some some questionable health. Maybe some hypertension, high blood pressure, uh, something about blood work, you know, um, 
stress, anxiety, and sleepless nights. So that and that's in the recent past. And we're moving forward because now it's reducing. We've got the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Six of Swords upright. This is beautiful, guys. You come from the Nine of Swords to completely reversing the Eight of Swords and jumping to the Six of Swords, moving away from turbulent times, Nine of Swords. Nice. I like it. I like it. All right, let's keep going. And in the near future, what do we have in the near future for our Aquarius? Near future, some good news, some great news. Come on, come on, come on. All right, okay. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Wow, this is this is interesting. Nothing but swords. The bad cards are in reverse, or in the past. Plans are, you, the plans that you made in secret, I, I feel like now you can kind of, um, okay, these two want to come out, all right, and your power is the seven of wands, and external to use the three of pentacles, seven of swords in reverse, I feel like the plans that you made, um, they needed to be revised, you, you You might have been doing something in secret, and now you're choosing not to do it in secret anymore. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, you may have been planning to this big escape, the Six of Swords, and now it's like, you know what? I'm not even hiding this anymore. The f I'm, I feel like this is you now, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, it might be. It could be someone else, but um, I, I feel like you're saying, I'm not hiding this anymore. You know, yes... I'm trying to get back and balance back and check with myself so I can worry about self, have some positive energy flow back into my life. Um, I'm not going to hide this situation anymore. And then we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse external to you. Someone's not wanting to work with you anymore. Someone's not wanting to partner or vice versa. Um... You're not wanting to partner with someone external to you. You're coming out of hiding. Maybe there was a third-party situation here. Um, hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Temperance. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. If not dealing with the Sagittarius, then you are... Um, if not dealing with the Sagittarius... Great. Uh... You're, you're hoping for balance. You're hoping for balance to be restored. You're hoping that spirit backs you on this. And spirit is backing you on this, too. Um, you need to just balance out your emotions and your thoughts. And the outcome, and the outcome is the Nine of Cups. Nice wish fulfillment here. It's like you're getting what you want because you you stood your ground with the seven of wands here oh, i forgot to go over that seven of wands here all of this you were like i am not taking this anymore whatever that is from whomever that was maybe it was another air sign there's a lot of air energy here um you stood your ground and you're getting your wish fulfilled. You're getting the ultimate, um, you know, you're getting a level of contentment, of happiness here. It's not the highest level, it's not the Ten of Cups, but it's definitely wish fulfillment and contentment. I'm also hearing spiritual, um, you know, spiritual realizations, whether it's through song, uh, dreams, the Nine of Cups here. Some of you are giving birth. Four of Wands. You're getting the relationship. You're getting stability that you want. Nice. And it came upright. Oh, my gosh. You guys stood your ground and you're getting what you want. This is beautiful, Aquarius. Like, some people will look at the reading and be like, oh, my gosh. There's so many swords cards in the reverse. All right. Just popped out the star in reverse. Okay, so 
maybe you are not going through the healing process yet. You're getting what you want, but you still need to heal. Don't forget about the fact that you need to heal from the past. You need to heal um, from all of this. You're moving away from this. Um, take time out for yourself. Restore your energy. Restore your balance. More importantly, heal. Then the lovers in reverse. This could be a Gemini. It looks like we got a lot of air energy. Could be a Gemini. Or um, someone's not making a decision here. Someone's not making a decision if you need, if a decision needs to be made. Uh, who is this Knight of Swords in reverse? Who is this Knight of Swords in reverse? If that's a Gemini person, they're coming in very manipulative in the reverse. They're coming in as a trickster. They're the twin sign, so they know how to, you know, they know what face to put on when it's time to put on a different face. Okay, wow. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. And then what wanted to come out was the King of Swords. Um, yeah, this could be you, Aquarius. You just giving a message to someone like, I don't even give a shit. I don't even care anymore that I've invested time and energy here. Um, I'm just getting back in control of, of who I am and what I am. Getting back in control of my element here with the King of Swords. You're cutting, well, you bypassed the Queen of Swords. You're the King of Swords. The King of Swords is more so, okay, this is the truth seeker. This is the truth giver. He's very, or she is very stern, very firm in their words. Um, they mean what they say. They're very enlightened. They're very intelligent. If you feel like you're going to play the mental game with them, good luck. Because they've mastered it. Look what's in the corner of the King of Swords card. What is that? Uh, I forget what that is. You guys will tell me in the comment. They've mastered the, you know, they've mastered human interaction. The King of Swords is right underneath the, the Emperor. The Emperor re rules all of the kings and the queens, but he rules all of the kings. And the King of Swords is right under, under him. The, uh, the tower in reverse is at the bottom of the deck. It's like you guys are avoiding a disaster here. Avoiding a, a disaster. Uh, by moving away from a disastrous situation. Some of you could be dealing with another air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Gemini here to come in in reverse. Master manipulator. You're getting back in control of yourself, of your element. It looks like you're going to get some wish fulfillment here. A real relationship. Someone that um, you're not that confident about it with the star in reverse. Someone's uh, either not making a decision or they've made a decision to um, come out of a love affair with the lovers. Or you're not seeing that someone is the, the ultimate partner, partner for you. Let's see. One more card on that. Who's the lovers? Who's the lovers? Who's the lovers? Who's the lovers? Thank you, thank you, thank you for this. true messages. Who's the lovers? The devil. Mm, the devil upright. Could be a Capricorn. If not, um, yeah, somebody's not making a decision to come out of a third party situation. But at the same time, they're offering you or you, you, there's a level of contentment here and stability. The Hermit. Hmm. The Ace of Swords. Looks like some truth and clarity comes by going within. The Two of Swords in reverse. You're not making a decision. Yeah, somebody's not making a decision. This could be you, Aquarius. This could be someone else external to you. It looks like somebody wants to come out of a third-party situation or come out of not working with someone. Or come, or they want to not partner. They don't even want to deal with it. With the three of pentacles in reverse. Partner.
partnership is not favorable with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. All right, Aquarius, that's your love. That's your love reading it. But all in all, you're getting away from the drama. I like that. Away from the drama. You're getting some wish fulfillment, some contentment, but not without the BS. It's like someone offers something, but at the same time, they're not 100% um, uh, upright. Like, you know, they could still be holding on to a situation. All right. Let's do career and finance. Career and finance for Aquarius. True, accurate messages for career and finance for Aquarius. Career and finance for Aquarius. Messages that will govern and guide their lives, ultimately bringing all Aquarius back to our creator in prayer and in supplication. Seven of Swords in reverse. Once again, Nine of Swords, some of you were... The, the mental in, in, the mental anxiety um, maybe about you being sneaky in some situation but you're coming out of that maybe in regards to business there was something you had to do behind the scenes or there was a uh, the plan you were trying to devise the reason for all this is the nine of cups upright um, wish fulfillment here so you feel like, once again, you feel like you don't have to sneak around and you're coming out of that, that anxiety about uh, having to sneak around and, and go around people and kind of tiptoe around certain things. You're coming out of that, you know, because something's going your way here with the Nine of Cups, the Page of Cups in, in the present for your career and finance. Um, something's fulfilling you on an emotional level. I think... Well, let's just keep going. Something is fulfilling you on an emotional level. There's a message that comes in about your career and finance that fulfills you on an emotional level. Um, the Five of Pentacles in, in the past, nice. Feeling a, a sense of lack, feeling left out in, in your career, feeling like um, maybe you weren't getting recognition, you weren't getting the help you needed in your job sector or whatnot that's in the past the recent past you're coming out of that because something's going away with the nine of cups oh nice and in the near future it's the seven of pentacles the, the air of expectancy you planted the seed you've done the work the seven of pentacles you're just letting things grow um some of you have investments you made investments um you're just waiting for things to grow uh, some of you, ha the investments could be, I just heard, some of you have uh, put out resumes, um, done interviews, job interviews, and you're just waiting for things to manifest in your favor materially. It looks like it might. It very well could be happening for you. Nine of Cups here. Okay, in your power, in your power. Nice, the Nine of Pentacles. Woo! expectancy and then here comes the life change life of luxury enjoying life more enjoying enjoying the wealth that you've created for yourself not saying that you're super rich some of you could be uh but enjoying uh independence financial independence looks really really good for you um external to you external to you some of you entrepreneurs to external to use the two of wands uh, choosing a new path going to a new sector here some of you have a new career or a new a new career or a change of career is coming in for you uh, because you planted seed elsewhere you have options is what I'm hearing and you might go down a new path here nice all right hopes and fears it's the five of cups of course you don't want to grieve hopes and fears some of you are crying over the fact that you had to leave a situation behind uh there's a lot of change here two fives um you're grieving the change you know and you don't because you don't know 
how this is going to turn out because you're in the air of expectancy with the seven of pentacles but your power is the nine of pentacles you being independent strong enjoying life uh, turn and see that something else another career another job another uh company will fulfill you uh What's the outcome here for Aquarius? The Two of Pentacles, nice. You weighing up, weighing up to two very good prospects here. Weighing up a business decision too. Sometimes, sometimes this is a business partnership that's not approved of like you might need to do some more research here but you're weighing it up uh, they both have great opportunity to materialize for you or they already have they're still in, in the infancy of and you haven't chosen partnership because the next card would be the three of pentacles partnership you're weighing up which way to go Four of Wands again in the outcome. Whatever it is, Aquarius is taking you to stability. I love this. You know I'm a sun Aquarius. All right. I love this. Um, whatever this is, it's taking you to stability here. It really is. Um, choose wisely um, because your stability is a, a question. The magician in reverse. All right, somebody's being manipulative. This, this could be love to Two of Pentacles, the love affair. Already, somebody's already in an established relationship. Somebody's being manipulative. If not love, if you're not concerned about that, like me, <laughs> Ten of Swords, upright. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I'm really feeling. That this right here is love for some reason. Um, choose wisely, though. If if the choice is on you, if you're in a love affair, if you have more than one person you're dealing with, know that your stability is at is in Lou here. Um, somebody's being a master manipulator, a, a liar, a cheat. They're just they're just pulling the strings here. They're gonna cause nothing but you know for you to be blindsided, betrayed, backstabbed. Um, or this is you, you know, or you you're doing this to someone else, Aquarius. And if this is business. This might not be the best business choice because your stability is at is is on the line here and somebody is manipulating the situation to where you'll feel backstabbed hmm the bottom of the deck nice the wheel of fortune and the upright so the wheel is turning it's turning for all of us all the time it's just a matter of what you put out in the universe oh nice and then the star upright okay Ace of Swords, and then Ten of Pentacles. Nice. Um, be cautious of what you choose or who you choose, because, um, like I said, your stability is is. Uh, it might be so surrounding the King of Pentacles. Your stability is a, a, in question here, you know. For somebody's being a master manipulator, watch out for that Aquarius. But the wheel is here. Watch your money. Somebody could just be with you for money. Just to secure their own stability. The truth about them may come out. Alright, as career and finance, let's get some final messages for Aquarius. Alright. But all in all, career and finance look really good. Love look good. Some of you just walking away from drama and, and BS. 
the Butterfly Oracle cards by Dorian Virtue. Yeah, some of you are just walking away from drama and BS and love and in, in career finance. You, you've planted seeds. You've done the work. You're just waiting for things to manifest. Some of you have some business decisions to make. Uh, don't make them without consulting spirit, whatever, whoever, however you believe. Um, some things in life we can't do. We can do all things, you know, uh, that are possible. And the impossible is for our God, whatever, whoever God, whatever God you believe in, to help us with. So the possible things are for us, and the impossible is for our God. So uh, try to align yourself with some type of spiritual belief. And that'll be your help in making those decisions, especially in career and business and in love and romance, too. And, uh, just love relationships, period. Friends, family, whatever. All right. So, yeah, Aquarius, it's looking good. It's looking like I'm happy to see Aquarius coming out of until those fell out. All right. Decisions. We saw that. A lot of decisions to be made. Two of Pentacles. Um, yeah, a lot of decisions to be made. Decision, meaning you got to cut something out. You can't try to master, manipulate. Ooh, that might be you, Aquarius, trying to master, manipulate to where everybody's involved. And we are such a, a sign of that we will try to involve everyone because we want everyone to be you know comfortable we want everybody to uh we, we want to try to fulfill everybody on some type of level but you might have to make a decision cut it out cut it away oh courage these fell out off camera for you yeah you're gonna have to have the courage to move forward press forward make the decision know that in making the decision it's the right decision that you're making. Pray, meditate, have the courage to trust in spirit. Ooh, now that wasn't even me. That was for somebody out there. Be, be true to you. Be true to you. Be true to you. I, I say that over and over again because a lot of times people in general, but definitely Aquarius people, um... We don't stop and take the time to evaluate what is completely, completely best to us because we can kind of conform to anything because um, we're very diplomatic and we know how to how to maneuver in any situation. But what is best for you here, Aquarius? Be true to you. What's best for you? What's best for you? Not best for everybody of all. What's best for you? Um, practice a level of selfishness here. A healthy level of selfishness. Spiritual growth. Nice. And that's all I've been talking about. Is some of you are going to have to rely on spirit to make certain decisions. Have the courage to do so. And be true to you. Not true to everybody involved. You know, well, Sarah likes green apples and Johnny likes red so I guess I'll buy green and red when I really only have money for green apples no I'm gonna buy whatever I want buy Fuji apples I'm gonna buy whatever and if they don't eat the damn apples they don't eat the damn apples I don't care anymore this, I'm being true to me I like Fuji apples get out of my house take on that type of energy but be true to you and um Rely on spirit, knowing that you're making the right decision. You know, um, we can't, we can't please everybody all the time. All right, so Aquarius, I hope that this resonated with you. If it did, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I have to pull these out. And so these were already turned around in the deck for when I was um, shuffling. End of an era, retirement. For some of you. You're concerned about your retirement and saving. For some of you, you're gonna, this is this also talks about self-employment or the way you do your work. You know, you may have spent 80 hours a week at work. Now you'll spend less hours because you have more money saved or you, you've come up with another idea of how, how to make the same money. 
exerting less energy doing so end of an era end of an era in the relationship sector in the money sector end of an era end of poverty for some of you end of a uh, uh, stagnant and um, toxic whatever just not good relationship uh, friends family romantic end of an era here all right all right so if you need to get in contact with me all of my information is below please uh, look in the description box follow me on insta go um, I'll pull a few cards for you and get back to you with a video. I do not take phone calls uh, on Instago. Um, so, yeah. Um, follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. Choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. Any donation is um, welcome. It's much appreciated. Remember, Aquarius, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying. Pray for me as well. I'll see you guys in mid-April. All right? Take care.